Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you're doing well and we're going to get right into your reading. Keeping these messages a little bit shorter but trying to get all of the, get the, the points of the messages through at the same time as uh, we're going to be changing something up here on the channel in the near future. Um, so bear with us. What are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising? These are general messages as well. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. And starting off your reading, Scorpio, with a message from the universe has your back. <clears throat> All right. Message for Scorpio. The more energy and intention I, br I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Scorpio, I feel like your faith has been tested or your, yeah, your faith and trust in the unknown, in your higher power, in the universe has been tested. And a lot of our, we're just coming out of, um, across the new moon in Leo, uh, as well as Venus in retrograde doing her thing we're doing working with black moon lilith who brings up our deepest darkest fears from our own underworld so you may have had some, you may be working through some of your fears and it kind of brings you out of your consciousness at times and uh our faith gets tested we are Definitely, your trust in the unknown, your trust in the universe, you trust in yourself, in your higher self, in your intuition. But uh, the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. So you may have been going through this constricting period where you just feel like I can't move. I don't know what to do. I, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Definitely um, breathe. Have faith. What else do we have for Scorpio at this time? My capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive. And the power I need when I am lost. Oh. Another experience you may be going through right now. Tuning into the heart when it's time to speak your truth. When it's time to forgive another and when it's time to um feel know trust that you are being guided you are being led the power i need when i'm lost so you really may have gotten pulled deep deep into your own underworld as venus goes into the dark. Venus has left the night sky and has is moving between traveling the, between the earth and the sun. So she is going into the underworld and that is pulling us into our own inner psyche uh, of sorts and revealing to us our fears, our doubts, how we treat ourselves, how we see ourselves. Venus is about love, self-love and um, relationships, beauty, desire, passion. What else for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio? Scorpio, I feel like you under you know you're being tested. <laughs> 
you know you're being tested and still you fall for it at times, but I don't think it's as, as severe as it once was. I choose to learn through love and I choose love no matter what. So again, reconnecting to the heart, self-love, love overall. That is the energy you're continuously choosing over and over again versus fear, versus judgment, versus doubt, versus whatever has been creeping up for you through all of this. And at the bottom, overall, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Realizing that we are all connected. And if you're not going to um, hope for the best for uh, others, that's going to affect you as well. So that's beautiful. I pray for the highest good for all. Lovely. Okay. Let's get a little deeper into this reading for you, Scorpio. And as I'm shuffling, I just want to remind, I want to thank all of you who do participate and are subscribed and participate in clicking that like button for, for me because the algorithms on YouTube are changing again. And, you know, it is for all of us content creators. It is very exhausting sometimes but the more you can participate by clicking the like button if you like the video by commenting by subscribing you can help get our videos out into circulation more so we're not like we're not left into the underworld of YouTube <laughs> so I'll greatly appreciate all of you who do take the time to do that it really truly does help the channel's growth it helps keep us afloat and get us into circulation all right so, with that said, what else do we have for Scorpio? And certainly share. Feel If you feel like you want to share this with others, so I appreciate that as well. What else for Scorpio? Prince of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. There's a deep knowing and a deep desire and a deep connection to that which you value, that which you call home, that which you place a lot of, this is Venus energy, beauty, art, your gardens, yourself this is of deep importance to you something or whatever this is portraying to you and maybe it's been under attack or maybe there's been fear of like it's going to go away or be taken away from you and it's so important to you emotion of an emotional tie to it Scorpio energy right there Deeply, deeply passionate about. Okay, what else? Deeply passionate about that which you value. Okay, something's changing though, Scorpio. You are going through a rebirth period of your own. This is your card as well, the death card, transformation. Maybe you're changing the way you feel about what is important. Yeah, the, the, you could be changing the way you feel about certain things and what is truly of value to you. The hanged man, okay. Nine of cups. You're changing the way you feel about a person possibly as well. There's a surrender that's happening here. You're being asked to surrender, to be able to see something from another perspective, a different angle, a new light. Definitely has to do with the way that you feel about another, how you feel about this connection. And this is also another card of passion and desire. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Prince of Swords. Interesting mix here. So we have Prince of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, right? And then we have Nine of Cups, Prince of Swords. 
there's a new realization here. Something's being illuminated to you. Uh, maybe the way you had been viewing another person or a situation in your life was coming from an old version of you, an old paradigm, old fears were linked to it. Maybe this person was reading that as well and you weren't, be able, you weren't able to fully express or open yourself up all the way. You've gained some knowledge here. Ten of Pentacles definitely has to do with your, I don't even want to say possessions, but this is more of like your legacy. What you, not only what are you passionate about, what you're doing in the world, and what you will leave behind as a memory of yourself when you are no longer in this world. It's deep. A Scorpio is. So it could be a connection with another person as well as what it is that you pu are putting out there into the world as far as uh, what are you are producing and what you are, um, how you are presenting, what you are putting, I keep getting what you're putting out there into the world uh, as you're offering, as you're offering of service. Okay, beautiful. All right, so again, we're going to be doing extended readings. We're probably, hopefully, hopefully starting those next week. Uh, I do have a Patreon channel. I want to get that all situated and linked back up here. But we're going to get one more message for you, Scorpio, before we go from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can book that through my website. It's another great way to support me and uh, what I am putting out there into the world. Uh, you can book that through my uh, website, which is bethechange333.com. That information is in the description box below. And last message for Scorpio here. Yeah, something's... You've gone through the fire. And I think it has more to do, it's not just another person, but it's also your passion, what you do, and how, what energy is driving behind that. Not holding any resentments for anybody either anymore. Maybe those who have mistreated you or misguided you in your past. Praying for the highest good of for all last message for Scorpio. Scorpio, your messages always seem a bit cryptic and they do take a little bit longer to dive into. Um, unfortunately, we are cutting back on our timing of these messages this week. Uh, how the length of the messages, thank you, not the timing. Oh, a tall tale. Mm hmm. Definitely something. There's a miss. Something's been misled. Something's been. Let's read it from the book. Oh, I want to get into it even more. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. You or someone else is telling a tall tale right now. You always know if a falsehood is spoken because it doesn't feel grounded. When you lie, you get high on an illusory sense of power that is doomed to fail at some point. You feel driven by the fear of exposure, but something makes you stick to your story even though you know it has no substance. Whatever lie we are caught up in isn't as important as the motive for it. Why does anyone lie? Perhaps we don't believe the truth is good enough, or we want to keep doing what we know we shouldn't be doing. Then there is a lie put forth while in denial, such as hiding an active addiction. In this scenario, we may believe our own lies, the tall tale, the white lie, the stretching of the truth, and the blatant fabrications are all about control the desire for it, the lack of it, the need to maintain it so we can manipulate our, the outer world and hide our inner one. Today, ask for the truth. Be willing to pay the price and be okay with the vulnerability your lie is exposing in yourself and others. Transparency is required to get to where you need to go. 
to be truly empowered, to reveal the strength of what is true and authentic. Any other path leads to a dead end. Remember the saying, the truth will set you free and get ready to fly unfettered. Yeah, Scorpio, I feel like you may have um, come to, or you're coming to a realization maybe with, a, with another that um, they're using the words to try and control you or control a situation and know that that type of behavior will always be illuminated in the, in the end. But instead of praying for an outcome, pray for the highest good of all. That is the message for you this week, Scorpio. I hope you find this helpful and I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.